Hey guys, it's APP, and we're back with more really creepy tingleness. Oh, we got Tingle's chart in the last part, which is obviously, honestly, probably one of the most useless items in the whole game. It shows you where Tingle is on the map, but it's very poorly drawn and doesn't really show you anything. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. Okay. Already doubled it. You just said that. Don't. Okay. Thank you. Oh God. Okay. Well, now that we've freed Tingle, there is one thing we can do, and that would be pull this over here. Get out. No. No. Get out. Okay. And there's stuff that we broke. We're vandals. Okay. And you can go down here. There is a. Cur you know. There's. Here you basically have a bunch of rats, with. Um. Like freaking things. The rats are like totally evil little buggers. Like if you turn it the wrong way, you will run into a rat. And they totally have a switch with a. Uh, they have like a floorboard with a switch on it, or a switch next to them. And if you go onto it, they will drop you. And you'll end up back at where the King of Red Lions is. It's really despicable. <laughs> they need to learn to not be such jerks. And I don't actually think I'm going the right way. Please be going the right way. Yes, I went to the right way. Yay! Didn't run into any of the rats. But I'll probably just run into one of the rats just to make it easier to get out. But first we need to get this thingy. What's in this? Well, oh, no. Whoa, how did the skulls get here? Ew! Get the skulls away, get the skulls away. Okay. Treasure chest with useful items in it. Ah. Yeah! And we got a Picto box. Yep. And this can take photographs. This will be pretty useful later. As you can see we have another item. Yay! Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go find one of the rats. You can see what happens then. They're really nasty boogers. Like, <laughs> this should be one. Yep! <laughs> and he pulls his little bell, and the trap door opens, and we fall to our doom. That's so mean. These rats really need to learn to not be such jerks. <laughs> hey, what's up, King? Oh, that look in your eye. So you found your, so you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well. Then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my boat. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail. You got to Y, Z, or X, and press that button to hoist it. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The arrow that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Control stick to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing in the of the sail. You can always press A to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust the speed. Did you understand all that? At least it's not like Cake or Game Bora, and it's always set to the uh, option that wouldn't be no. Ah, one more thing. When you are out of the sea, uh, you will lose the sea chart. I have marked the place which you should be hitting on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, blah, 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 this is the sea chart. Ah, uh, westerly wind blows. Hop in and carry us to the something. Okay. Well, in that case, we got quite a bit of time. I'm at three and a half minutes right now. So let's get going, shall we? We got a whole wide world to explore. We don't want to waste it here. Even though we'll be spending a lot of time here. Let's go! And start the awesome sailing music. Ugh. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it started. Oh, I love the sailing music so good, so much. It's an awesome theme. And, I mean, I used it in one of my uh, Crimcoin compilation vids. Because it's just so good. And it, it really makes sailing worth it, even though I'll probably cut out quite a bit of sailing if I have to sail, like, all the way across the map. And that happens sometimes. So, yeah. But, but sailing is cool. I, you know, I always really like that aspect of the game. Some people thought it was... You know, it made it boring and just not very exciting. They liked the rest of the parts of the game, but sailing was just not their favorite thing. Sailing was probably one of my favorite parts of the game. I don't know why. I just always found it really enjoyable. And I'm I'm surprised how much I've gotten done in the game, like, so far. I'm, I'm amazed. I did not expect to have this much done. What's that over there? That could be a boat with some guys on it. So let's go see. What is that? Set up. Oh, that's just the shop ship. Okay, we'll ignore that for now then. I thought the guys 
with the boats at the thing over there. Is that them over there? No, that's another island. Seagulls, leave me alone! Caw, caw! Wait, I thought there was a... never mind. I'm stupid. But whatever. I'm just, you know... We're just sailing to the... Our next destination, which is going to advance the story. Yay, story advancement. <sighs> this will be Dragon Roost Island. I think he's already said that. Uh-oh, there's a cloud over the top of Dragon Roost Island. What's that shape at the top? Hmm. Odd. It looks to be some sort of... I don't know what that is. Cool. I'm sure we'll find out. But it's weird that the mountain, you know, it has that cloud around it. Because it looks a lot like Death Mountain in Ocarina of Time. There on the horizon, what is our, that is our destination, HPP? Dragon Roost Island. Oh, awesome, more awesome music. This game is full of awesome music. Watch me ruin the music by singing and humming along. Alright. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. Yeah, yep. Okay. You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Den's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit the island about the sea dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Ah, uh, thingy. Yep, he's got a thingy in his mouth. Gross. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods. But I did not know it. I do not know if it still works. Oh, my capture card's bugging out. I hope that doesn't reflect in the recording. Alright, good. Uh, that was weird. I hope it didn't bug out for a lot of the sailing. Uh, conduct in 3-4 time. Do not press that thing. And just sort of... This is like... This is what I was talking about, the thing that makes music. It isn't an instrument, but it still causes music to happen. So, I figured that worked. If it didn't work for you guys, that's too bad. Because I hope you've enjoyed the six videos that came before this one. Because I sure have. This has been probably my favorite recording experience. And can you blame me? This game is awesome. Ugh. Like, oh, I'm so glad I decided to do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong. Yeah, you have to push to the left to do 4-4 uh, four, uh, four, four time. And then you can also push to the right to do 6-4 time, as he's about to explain. But, I mean, we don't really have a reason to use 6-4 time for a very long time. Da 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 da! We received the legendary Wind Waker! Wow! Okay. Well, we can use the Wind Waker to do magic. No, wait. Yeah, pretty much. Do not tilt. Okay, cool. I got that. Thank you. Yes, I explained that. Alright, guys. Yeah. And now we're going to start our ascent of Dragon Roost Island. There is a place where we'll go in a minute, or go in a couple videos, I think. And what's this? Well, let's read the sign and find out. No, read the sign and find out. Danger! Do not attack this explosive fruit. Why do you have explosive fruit? Okay, well, these are bomb flowers. You'll remember them from such games as Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Ugh. Okay, well, that was pretty lucky. Alright, so we're just blowing up rocks and stuff. No, no, no. 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 Okay. Put that down. I don't know why we blow up that rock. I can't even remember. And up... Wait, how do you... How do you look up again? I don't actually remember. Um... Oh, there we go. See that up there? You, um... There's an easy way to get that without an item we'll get later. But there's really no reason to do it yet, so we'll probably come back once I have the item you get later in the game, and get that. So that should be fun. Well, that doesn't... wait, what? Oh, that one, okay. Alrighty. Neat. No, no, you're supposed to blow up the rock, Mr. Bombflower. Bomb fruit. Explosive fruit. There, the rock is dead. Ding dong, the rock is dead. Oh no. Sad day for wrestling. Alright. Then we just continue along this sidle path. Ow, ow, ow. I'm stretching my ow, arm, hand, ow. Like I had my whole ow. That hurt for some reason. And there's a rupee. As long as you have enough rupees. Okay. 
we will put this down, and we're getting, you know, I think I'm actually going to stop, wait, hold on, you can pull this out, and it will make a, you can get pretty much get back up here from the bottom now, without having to go all the way around. And I'm going to stop here at this mailbox, because it'll trigger a scene if I go up there, and I will see you guys in the next part. So, this is HPP, and I wish you to have a good day.